Hi, this is Neely on Nutrition, and I am with Karen Hosenfeld, sports dietitian for the Allen Americans professional hockey team. Karen, you've got something pretty cool here. Yeah, what every this, athlete needs. I know. I was so excited that uh, you want to do this with me. So let's, let's get started. Yeah, so I think every athlete needs to have a travel sports nutrition bag. Never leave home without it. Absolutely. You've got your gear. You've got your equipment. You plan for all of that. You really need to plan to be fueled. It's one of the biggest mistakes that athletes make while traveling is not fueling well. Okay, so fueling well yes. is critical. Yeah. Wait till you see what she's got. Not skipping meals, making sure you have snacks. It, just in case you're, you know, going to miss a meal, you can always take something with you. These right. are uh, healthy choice meals. Really just add water water, hot right. water. Um, lots of hotels even just have a spout with hot water that you can add. Healthy Choice has a lot of frozen meals, but this yeah. is shelf-stable. shelf right Excellent. there. Excellent. And if you want to have a little larger meal, too, you can always do uh, these tunas. They're vacuum-packed. Right. And some brown rice. Love the Lots brown rice. Fiber. Whole grain. Yes. Yeah. Really yeah. good. Yeah. Dietitian's yeah. dream. We love whole grains. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a breakfast that you need and you're running out to an event or a competition in mm -hmm. the morning, you can always do one of these. comes in its own package. Oatmeal. It's a Quaker oatmeal. Again, just add hot water. Hotels have it. So. Can't get more convenient than that. Yeah. yeah. And for snacks, you know, you can do the these little fruit cups mm -hmm. and really it can't be easier you don't even need a spoon you just right. kind of throw it back and the coaches need some carbs too <laughs> they love this uh, these are so apple funny. sauces some of them are flavored and look you can just kind of stick it in a pocket and go and they're fun who doesn't, know this, you know? who doesn't love these things <laughs> they're fun oh too funny and then for just a uh, snack time again here's a great source of carbs you can put it with some nuts as yeah. well yes and this is great for inflammation and it's super easy to carry it with you they're a little addictive so you got to watch yeah. out even my kids love them but you know as for dried fruit though raisins also yeah be, uh, any kind of dried fruit yes. in general is good carbs okay. um, also if you just need a variety of different kind of bars right I mean you can throw a ton of different bars right. in there. Lots of varieties. I like a mix of carbs and protein. Okay. So some of these you'll see actually have mm -hmm. 20 grams of protein. Yeah. Um, the kind bars made with nuts, they have protein too. Okay. Great. Love this. And then if you want to also a nice little snack, you can throw some crackers in there, uh -huh. some peanut butter. I mean, this travels so easily. Right. And then have you seen the PB2? Yes. I <laughs> Stuff. Yeah, it's great. Just add water. And That's what's all you great do. about it's powdered. this is, is the weight. I mean, yes. I think, you know, the calories, but, but also, you know, the weight of this is significant. If you have to throw that in your suitcase and you're traveling overseas, every ounce counts. Right. And the powdered peanut butter can really help cut down on the, exactly. the weight. So, too. And if you just don't have the space for that, but you want to carry around some of these guys, they're coming almond butter, cashew butter, peanut butter. I like the ones without the sugar added and okay. yeah they're fun to kind of squish around aren't they but the ones with sugar added though for somebody an athlete though that might need the extra carbs then after a workout yeah yeah, yeah okay. definitely Great. and that's when the muscles are ready to receive that extra carbohydrate okay. and that's just fine excellent after so another great option mm -hmm. for recovery and post-exercise is chocolate milk or flavored milks. Yes. So just a standard, and again, shelf-stable. Yes. So they can so carry around with right. them. It doesn't have to be refrigerated. Right. Yeah. Really important. It's nice cold. You'd rather have a cold. Yeah. But just in case, um, any other flavored milks, mix one is another good one. Okay. It's a two-to-one carb-to-protein okay. just for recovery. Ideally, though, after a workout, the three-to-one? Three-to-one if it's an endurance workout. Okay. Two-to-one if it's more resistance or very quick activity. Okay. So and that's carbohydrate to protein yeah, ratio. Yeah, carbohydrate. Great. So, again, no matter what, it's more carbs than it is protein. Exactly. So yeah, we want to be sure and that we're getting a, in the that's carbs. That's a big misconception. People Absolutely. always like, you know, think it's protein, protein, protein. But and not necessarily. I know. Um, so f I have some athletes trying to gain weight. A really great way to gain weight is to add some powdered milk okay. to their milk to re-fortify it. Right. And powdered milk, it travels pretty easily. Definitely. Yeah. They come in this package. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, during game, between periods, uh, halftime, then I recommend some Fig Newtons, really quick energy. Okay. And really it's just one little pack like this for about a 175-pound athlete. So it's not, you don't have to eat 20 of them to get right. a little boost of energy. Excellent. So Good another thing. great choice. And then always, always, always travel with some water. Okay. If you get bored with the regular water, you can always add some flavoring to it. Mm. I like the Crystal Light Pure. Yeah, the Pure. It doesn't have yeah. the artificial, you know, colors flavorings. and flavorings. Yeah. yeah. So, so if you're worried about that, 
We it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah so. definitely. So those are just some good options. Sponsor. There's really no excuse for not planning ahead of time. Just throwing some things like this in a pack and go, right. then you know for sure that you're well-fueled for your competition. Excellent. Lots of great information and lots of great stuff. I mean, this you had all of this packed into this bag here and I had and half you had, the bag no, left. right it wasn't even it wasn't <laughs> yes. even packed right it yeah. was right so right so you yes, can kind of squish no. it up and throw yeah. it in with your equipment and get going right wonderful, wonderful. yeah thanks so much again thanks. Karen Hosenbelt sports dietitian for the Allen Americans professional hockey team and uh, thanks for watching Melia Nutrition and we'll see you in the next video